Okay folks, welcome back. This is your old pal Hondo doing another video for you on a hatchet. This is a 1.4 pound hatchet. It's one pound. It's from the Pittsburgh Tool Company, which is the cheapest hatchet <clears throat> from Harbor Freight and would be the only thing that I would recommend from Harbor Freight for survival. Um, it's probably the best thing. Really, their only best tool besides their little ferrocium rod with the mag bar on it for a survival tool. Everything else there is just crap. So is their machetes. So is their uh, knives. But this right here is okay. Um, you will have to further sharpen it, as you can see. Um, out of the box, it had no edge whatsoever, so I took a file to it. Um, I think the, ste the steel in this is uh, some kind of stainless steel, hammer forged stainless steel. has this... Uh, nylon fiberglass uh, handle uh, it's about tw uh, 13 inches all uh, 13 inches in length it has a palm swell in the end like a classic uh, camp axe does um, I paid seven bucks for this um, really cheap really affordable um, you know weekend warrior type of camping type of tool if you need it for that or you could take it with you in the field long term if you wanted to I've seen videos of these they're tough as nails um, and they get the job done. We're going to test it out on some smaller pieces of wood and what you would do with this generalized camp use only. Um, and maybe some fine task work. Um, it's very sharp, as you can see. I sharpened it to a razor blade. So we're going to test it out show you how a $7 hatchet works from Harbor Freight. Basically, it's a Pittsburgh one pound, uh, one pound, one and four ounces. So, and it's got a nice little hammer in there so you can drive in 10 stakes if you need to after you make one. So we're going to test it out and see how, it's, see how this uh, hatchet works for you. See if you're in the market for a cheap Harbor Freight hatchet. Cheapest hatchet that Oops. money can buy. We're going to test it out with a smaller tree limb. Cuts it pretty good. like a three inch diameter piece of wood cuts pretty good that little piece of wood right there three inch diameter piece of wood didn't send too much shock in my hand as <clears throat> for as sharp as it is it did kind of take a couple wax it's not a machete or this is not a more expensive marbles or Hoskuvarna or Grand For Forest Brooks hatchet by any means but it is an affordable tool if you need it um, it worked pretty good there we're going to try some more of this uh, small stuff right here to break it up for the fire. Um, for, with little or less ease it chops and it bites deep with a proper edge on it. It will cut. If you didn't put a proper edge on this it will just gouge the wood. It's about three and a half inch diameter wood. It did it pretty quick. I'm just doing this generalized cam testing to see how the blade holds up to abuse. It's basically what you would use a hatchet for anyways. Right, we're going to chop this piece of wood here. It's a little bit thicker. It was from a four inch piece. Chopped it up no problem. There you go, chopped it up fine. That's what a proper uh, head on this will do. It'll chop it great. And we're going to chop this one too. We're going to baton this one here, see how it batons. Tonned it fairly well. Let's put that up. I'm not working with the best stabilist platform there is. There it goes. Split that up real good. 
We're going to chop the ends off of this one. That hurt my finger. Gives you a lot of power in the swing and it really works really well. Make short work of this wood. Now we're going to cut through this piece of wood right here. That bite's deep. A little less effort. I said it's a batoner for sure. Baton's wood really well to get to the dry center wood. There you go. Baton some more wood. Splits wood in half. No problemo. And we're going to chop this big old piece here. Jeez, it cut it finally. That's about the consistency of a small tree. But this wood is locust. And that stuff is hard as a rock. But it cut it, no problem. We'll try to split this in half. in half. It's a good splitter. Huh. Uh, this wood's a little bit thicker than I wanted to. Uh, and there you go. Split wood down the center. Some thick wood there, folks. And uh, after that abuse, it didn't put no dings in the blade whatsoever. So, gets high marks. And uh, it works pretty good. We're going to split one more piece of wood and we're going to call it eat it quits. There you go. Splits wood good. <laughs> there you go, folks. Wood split machine here, folks. There you go.
Okay, folks, now we're going to see how it does with uh, feather sticking and fine task work. There you go, the feather stick. We need to make the tent peg, see our carbs. To make a tent peg, get it down to a point. And it's not as good as I would think, but it does do a tent peg fairly well. If you're using softer wood, that's how it drives a tent peg in or a, a bed stake. There you go. It drives the stake in there really good. So nice and firm. So the hander, hammer in works hey, really good. My final thoughts on this $7 camp hatchet. It will do fine task work. It will make a tent peg. It will chop your wood. Um, further sharpening, it will be a great performer. That wood was impossible anyways, it was extremely tough, it was locust, but it performed well. As you can see, the very edge, there is no dinging on it. You would think for a stainless steel hammer forged hatchet, uh, it would have done, it would have dinged. It didn't ding, it performed really well. Um, you know, the two inch diameter wood, it bucked really good, it bucked the three inch diameter wood it chopped the four and the five inch diameter wood no problem it uh, split wood with no problem with a proper edge on it you will have years and years worth of well use out of this uh, hatchet for seven bucks I recommend it and it's the only tool I, I would recommend from Harbor Freight for survival any of their hatchets or their axes uh, their fireman axe their uh, two pound boys axe uh, recommend them but I showed you what it could do uh, the handle held up really well you know it's got a little place for a lanyard loop it did it was a little hard to use but it, it's not too bad I've used worse hatchets in the field well folks if you like the Harbor Freight special mystery steel hatchet um, give me a like and subscribe on this video for further videos and reviews Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will read all y'all's comments. Uh, tell me what you think about this $7 crab hatchet from Harbor Freight held up to the test. First impression test, I think it's great. Get it. For 7 bucks, you can't go wrong. Well, folks, this has been your old pal Hondo on a hatchet review. If you like this product, the survival product that I got from Harbor Freight, hit, uh, give me a like and subscribe, folks. And this has been your old boy Hondo from Hillbilly Tactical. You put God first, he puts you first every time. You know what else, YouTube? God loves you. So does Hondo. Hondo out. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie.